of childhood, um, two words, sad, dysfunctional. Um, my dad was a drunk, and um, he was a very mean drunk, very abusive in any way you can imagine. I grew up in a large family, um, but never felt more alone. I guess because of my childhood, I wasn't a very good teen. I uh, ran away from home several times, I got expelled from school, um, had several run-ins with the law. So uh, I ended up at age 17 standing before a judge. And, um, he sentenced me to um, a detention center for girls. Well, when I got out of high school, um, I was free, young, wild, um, and very promiscuous. And um, I was bisexual. Um, I met a guy. I got pregnant. And at 20 years old, I had a baby. The guy left. And here I am. 20 years old with a baby. And so um, I, I kept looking um, for a baby daddy. Um, I wanted something better for her. And uh, so once again, um, picked the wrong guy. You know, I, I ended up pregnant again. And um, the guy I thought was going to be my savior that was going to um, open up. You know, and I was going to be a mom and a wife, and we were going to have these two kids, and, you know, he took off. He didn't want any part of it. And um, so here I am, you know, 20 years old with a 10-month-old baby, and um, pregnant again. And so I decided that I was going to rescue myself. Um, I knew what was best for me. So I would just rescue myself. So I chose to have an abortion. You know, after I did that, I, uh, I was done with men. I was so done with men and couldn't trust them anymore. So I decided to, to dive head first into the lesbian world because that was safe for me. That was comfortable for me. And, and I could decide who and when and how much and where and you know I had freedom I had a choice I I, I could control that and um, so so I raised my daughter in a two mommy home and um, lived in that lesbian world for years most of my adult life it was Memorial Day weekend and then Sunday morning I had a knock on my door And all they could say was she was driving too fast on a wet road and she just didn't make the curve. I could barely, I could barely take it. You know, it's not fair. You're not supposed to bury your child. It's not supposed to happen that way. A parent's not supposed to bury their child. When I cried out to God that night, after Tabitha died, and I wanted to die, and I cried out for desperation. Um, see, I, I never had any peace. Never had any peace. I, I, I couldn't understand why it happened. And um, I had all these questions in my head. And the best way that I can tell you how he showed up is that he gave me the answers that I needed. I found out that um, the man that was the paramedic um, at my daughter's accident was a pastor. And I got to meet him and 
he told me, you know, everything I needed to know. He, he gave me, he gave me peace that I needed, answered all the questions that I had. And then he said that he knew my daughter wasn't going to make it. And so he took her hand and he prayed with her. And for me as a mom, you know, to know that the last words my daughter probably heard here on earth was a man of God making intercession for her. Gave me the peace that I needed. It was God rescuing me. My name is Teresa Warren, and God rescued me. Isn't it time for him to rescue you? I